hello and bonjour from Montreal. Now, the opening of the firm had been one of the most anticipated events in the transit community. You might know me from a video I made last year about the Montreal Metro. Well, one of the comments in that video was from a user by the name of Discover Montreal, who said something along the lines of, I need to go see the REM once it opens. Well, today, the REM is now open, and I'm right now at the Gare Centrale station, where I'm about to catch the REM. So, for Discover Montreal, consider your request fulfilled. Anyways, roll the intro. Hello and bonjour and welcome to my trip report. Right now I am at the Bonaventure station of the Montreal Metro, which is the designated transfer station to the Montreal Réseau Express Metropolitain, aka the REM. In order to transfer between the Montreal Metro and the REM, you will have to exit the paid area. However, it is still quite a long walk before we actually get to the REM, which we will be catching from Gare Centrale. From Gare Centrale, we will be taking the REM across the St. Lawrence River all the way to Poissard, which serves as the southern terminus for the REM. In total, this trip will cover a distance of approximately 16.6 kilometers and will take about 20 minutes. Bonaventure station is linked to Gare Centrale via an underground passageway. This underground passageway is part of a greater network of pedestrian tunnels known as the Underground City. The Underground City links various places in downtown Montreal to each other. Those places include hotels, shopping centers, offices, metro stations, among many other things. Okay, now we have finally reached Gare Centrale de Montréal, or Montreal Central Station. As you can tell by the name, Montreal Central Station is the main railway station in Montreal. There, you can catch not only the REM, but also the EXO commuter trains, via rail, and even Amtrak. At the time of filming this, there were no ticket barriers installed on the Gare Centrale station for the REM. However, this seems to be a temporary thing. The REM platforms at Central Station were once commuter train platforms. In fact, a good amount of the REM reuses commuter rail infrastructure. Construction of the REM started in only 2018, and the system opened to the public on the 31st of July 2023. Although often referred to as a light rail system, the REM is actually a light metro system. However, the REM is considered a separate system from the existing Montreal Metro, although both systems are part of the same ticketing system. Here, check this out right here. Platform screen doors. So you can kind of render my video on platform screen doors. A bit outdated. In fact, all stations on the REM have full height platform screen doors. This makes the REM one of the very few rail systems in North America that have platform screen doors. As of production of this video, Gare Centrale currently serves as the northern terminus of the REM. However, services are scheduled to extend beyond the station to De Montan and Anse Alôme in 2024 and to the airport in 2027. This is how the progress on the Anse Alôme branch looks around the time of the filming of this trip report. Prochaine station, Ile des Sœurs. Today, the REM has a total system length of 16.6 kilometers, and five stations are currently open. Two of them are in the city of Montreal itself, while the rest of them are on Rossard. 
The trains on the Montreal REM are known as the Alstom Metropolis Saint Laurent. These trains are fully automated and bear a strong resemblance to those found on the Sydney Metro, with the biggest difference being that the seats on the REM are hard rather than soft as found on the Sydney Metro. Both trains were made by Alstom and were manufactured in their plant in India. In contrast to the Montreal Metro, the REM uses steel wheels rather than rubber tires. This allows the trains to operate better in outdoor settings, which is what the REM does for much of its segment. I should also note that you can get some really good views of Montreal on the REM. In this section, the REM passes by a bunch of rail yards. The one you see right here is for Via Rail, and if you look closely, you can see the new Via Rail trains. The first stop on our journey on the REM is Ile de Sur which serves an island by the same name. This station is in the median of the A10 auto route. From this point until shortly before Pulsad station, the REM will in fact travel in the median of the A10. We are now on the Champlain Bridge, which crosses the St. Lawrence River. In addition to the ramp, the new Champlain Bridge also carries six lanes of vehicular traffic and is considered a part of three different auto routes. At this point, the REM reaches its top speed of 100 kilometers an hour which, as you can see, is often faster than the cars on the bridge. In fact, the REM overtaking vehicular traffic on the bridge was a common sight that day. This cable state bridge first opened in 2019 and replaced the original Champlain Bridge, which first opened in 1962 and has since been demolished. From this point onwards, we are no longer in Fair Zone A, but rather in Fair Zone B. The first station after crossing the Champlain Bridge is Panama, which is also home to a bus terminus where you can connect to 37 different bus routes. After crossing the Champlain Bridge, the REM largely travels through lower density suburban areas. Although developments have sprung up in areas near the stations, the most notable of these developments can be found near Ducati Station. There, a higher density real estate development known as Solar Unicatier has been built. Station Ducatier. Les portes s'ouvriront sur le côté gauche. Ducatier Station also serves a lifestyle center known as Distrante. As we approach our final destination of Brofsad Station, I'd like to share some final thoughts and opinions on the REM. Overall, I was impressed by the speed, efficiency and modernity of the REM. Montreal is lucky to have such a nice and modern light metro system and I believe it will be a game changer for public transport in the greater Montreal metropolitan area. Terminus. Merci
Brossard station serves as the southern terminus of the REM, and there are no plans to extend the REM beyond the station. Brossard station consists of two platforms, with the other one being an island platform. Aside from being the terminus of the REM, Brossard station is also the easternmost metro station in all of Canada. Brossard station is also home to a maintenance and storage facility for the REM's trains. Other than that, there isn't much around Brossard station, except for a bunch of parking spots and a bus terminus. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, don't hesitate to hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, you can hit the subscribe button. Once again, I'm LeConte, signing out.